Hey guys, it is the next day. I do apologize that I uh, did not get it done the same day, but my company, it was my dad and his girlfriend, um, they come over for supper. So I did not get a chance to keep filming that same day. Um, sorry, I had a bee buzzer around my head. So we are going to continue with it today. While I was waiting for my phone to charge up, I was actually working on it some more and then I just had to take a break because yes, I was wearing gloves and everything, but when I was pulling a piece of copper out of the aluminum, it snapped and it raked up my arm while I was pulling towards me. So I just had to stop and do that. So, uh, da 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 da. <clears throat> I just took a shop towel and some uh, medical tape and then put it on it. Other than that, we're good and we're going to get back to work. But the moral of this story, if you can avoid it, don't pull towards you. So, we are going to get going on removing, uh, taking apart the um, AC. Yeah, I'm going to tilt this down just a little bit. Okay. So, as you can see, I got the majority of it done. I got this here, and I was working on this piece here when it snapped. So, I'm going to do this, but I'm going to go away from me. I don't want to repeat it, the same thing again. Great, it just seems to be splitting it. this. Hang on. I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit. Sorry. This is really shaky on the camera. There we go. I think that'll work. This is shakiness of the camera. That works. Oh, we are going to, it does end up splitting it, which means, yeah, so here is where I have that issue, when it popped out of here. But there we go for that. Now. these on. Not that they did much good for up here, but where it happened, it was on here, but there's my vein here. It was just a quarter of an inch from the main vein on my wrist. Getting back to it with uh, the company I had. Um, they actually brought a uh, supper and we had a bonfire out here. I cooked the steaks over the fire and I haven't seen them for a while so we just had a good time, talked, you know, shot the shit. Hey, how is it? How are you? Good, you? <laughs> that's what happens all the time. You will start to get that's what happens all the time. You're filming, someone walks by, it's like okay, are they talking to themselves or what? Thankfully, the person that walked by knew me, so she already knew I was crazy to begin with, so we're all good. <laughs> anyway, back to this. Oh, there's a reason why I have needle nose pliers out there. 
There we go. That's it. Now I have, excluding these two, which I cut off, I have four more to do on this one. And then I have a whole other one that I gotta do, and I just got aluminum in my shoe. is Friday, September 16th, and it is PA day for kids. They haven't even been back to school for two weeks, and there's already a PA day. And again, I'm up in Canada. I don't know where it is anywhere else, the States, or anywhere in the world. I swear, these kids these days have it more better than we did when we were growing up. Be loud. Shall we try that again? question, but you all seen that, right? That's one of the many mistakes you don't do. Don't take your hand off your work with the tool still in it. It'll slide. That's why I out of the way so fast. I'm so used to that happening. I've had it happen on the belt sander where I put a piece on it and shot halfway across the room. I also did get my fingers caught down the belt sander. My friends and family say I'm an accident waiting for a plus to happen. On this video, you can see it's true. On that note.
sounds very nice. Get it down far enough. I'm aimlessly picking away at this. Let's see if this will come out. This stuff busts so easily. And most copper does. Say that later. Oh. on by like a thread. Dang! <sighs> Stubborn ones.
There we go. That's the last piece, piece split apart. And I cannot spoke today, apparently. Okay. So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, counting the one that was cut in half, to finish up. So, I will get this done. Now you see it tore apart. I will get it done. And I will be right back and show you the finished product. Okay. See you in. For me, it'll be a few minutes. You, it'll be a second. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, we I just got done finishing the last of uh, tearing apart the aluminum sleeves and getting the copper out of them. So, what I have here is only part of the one uh, rad for the AC unit. The other parts that I have are the lines that were encased in that foam, uh, the water lines that go to it, I guess, for the central air. That has already been cut up in pieces and, re and put in a five gallon pail in my garage. So this stuff here is what I've gotten so far. Now, I'm gonna actually bring you guys over. Carefully as I can with it, not from the camera off the tripod. Hey. Oh, you got a lovely view of a wheelbarrow. We're going down. Oof, that was a little shaky. Okay, this is the copper lines that are in it. You got that. And I call them macaroni noodles, but it's the stuff that's on the end of it. So we got that. The other ones, and this stuff. That's just from one part of the uh, AC unit. Oh, excuse me. Okay. From that. Oh, no, no, no. No free rides. That's aluminum. Or aluminum. Oh, I can't spoke today, guys. Copper, that don't go in there. From the one part, excluding the steel piece that is in here. That is just one ride unit. Sorry, I thought I had a big something. But no, that's just one. And that box is a 14 kg box. No idea where it came from, to be honest. Oh. Uh. Now I know why people wear shirts over top of stuff like this. I got aluminum in places I shouldn't. <laughs> Heck, there's a, yep, there we go. There we go. Whew. I know I got shot in the face a few times, but it only hurts for a second. So, yes, that is this one. I'm not going to make you sit through the whole other rad that I gotta tear apart. Not gonna make you sit through that. What I have next that I gotta finish is I have to finish the bench we were talking about. That is my next project. So far the only things that I have done are the, it was all this, right? Well that part broke off. Well it um is not a good thing. So I just took a piece of three quarter inch plywood and screwed it down to the bottom here. So 
it will actually fold away. I know you can see it bowing in the bottom here. I gotta put braces underneath that run this way, and then I'm gonna be putting a backboard on this. I just gotta find long enough boards that I can cross beams to do it. So that is what we are gonna be doing in the next episode. I said we were gonna do it, I just didn't tell you when. So I'm gonna wrap up this video now that we have done what's inside of that AC unit and getting, oh wait, no, this episode was called whatever the heck I, it is I'm gonna be doing, I think. I don't know. I said the title yesterday, but I've slept since then and my memory sucks. <laughs> So we will see you all on the next episode of whatever it is I'm going to be doing. I like that. It works. So until then, please stay safe. Enjoy this lovely weekend that we're having. Uh, so the kiddos, kiddos watching, enjoy your weekend until school starts on Monday. Until next time, have a good day everyone. Bye. Hey everybody, um, it is a new day and I said that we, I was going to do another episode of doing the gliding bench. Well, I did. Or so I thought. It turns out that I was filming it, or filming it. Turns out the camera wasn't even rolling the whole time. So I was actually working, talking, and looking like a complete idiot talking to myself. Meanwhile, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. So what I was going to do is show you. I went ahead and did it, obviously, not knowing I wasn't filming. But I'm going to flip you around and I'm going to show you what we did. Now, this will all look a lot different once it's sanded and painted. But I have it finished. I went a little higher with the board from the original frame. Just because it sits at a really weird angle where it hits my uh, back wrong and I left it like that so I know it's not a professional job like I said my name on the channel is Jack of Trades, Master of None but this actually works for me now I actually went ahead and put braces underneath the swing itself just to hold up this middle piece here to support the weight so, if I can do this without knocking the window off. Okay, you know what? This seems to be a bugger. Okay, so I have 2x4 braces put underneath to help support the weight. And they are put in with, I think, 3 or 4 inch screws for stability and everything else. So yes, what took me a couple hours of literally talking to myself, uh, I got it done. I just wish I would have known I wasn't filming because it would have been nice to see that because I had a little technical difficulties where I broke some drill bits and everything else. So what I'm going to do is flip it around again and I got a fucking thing here oh, so it actually does work very well so it's actually really sturdy my feet are up in the air so but yeah, 
I got it done. I just wish I could have had y'all with me when I was actually doing it, but I was a dork and um, didn't double check my camera. So. Equipment malfunction. Well, operator malfunction. Not equipment. The equipment's fine. The operator, yeah, that's okay. But I've also been up since like four o'clock this morning because my brain decided to be a yeah so <laughs> there's that so i wasn't thinking clearly but i didn't get hurt no accidents this time thank god almost as a drill slipped a couple times but i just had my wits about me and i was able to move quick enough before a drill bit went into my hand would not be the first time and it probably won't be the last I might just meld this in with the other episode of when we did the reds. I might just add this one on. Just because right now I'm only at the four minute mark. So it would just make more sense to have it on one. If you've made it this far in the episode, thank you very much, and thank you for bearing with me. Um, if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. I love to hear comments, so if you have comments, questions, concerns, please feel free to uh, comment down below. Like, share subscribe if you haven't already um share it with your friends anything if you enjoyed this so far thank you sorry i had a bee buzzing around my hair oh shoot ah crap sorry i'm allergic to bees and i just had one stuck in my hair Unfortunately, I do not know how to edit videos yet, so you're going to see all of that. <laughs> Although, I will commend myself for not swearing. So, I will just wait till I'm done with that before I do anything else. Okay, on that note, I'm going to end this video here. So... And we I shall see you once I upload this. So, until then, hope you all have an awesome day. And a lovely weekend. It is Saturday, the 17th. So, thank you so much. As I said, enjoy your weekend. I'm just rambling on. So, I will see you all on the next one. Until then, bye for now.